one of my wife's friends has a duo lit toaster that the timer got stuck about halfway through the toast, so she said it just stays on, which is, seems pretty dangerous. So she handed it off to me. Um, the other thing I noticed when she handed it off was the power cord is kind of all split. So I'm just gonna, I took the strain relief off and I'm gonna feed that cord in so it'll, all the frayed part will be inside the toaster and some fresh cord will be sticking out. I took off the cover with four, well, there were six screws here and that revealed where the timer is. I've taken it out already, but um, I disconnected the timer just from the spade connectors. And inside here, um, what I found when it, when it was binding was that the, um, there's this little white um, kind of follower that if I pull that back, it would release. So I tried lubricating that and it still was binding. Some of the forms say if you get um, if you get uh, WD-40 into the clock mechanism, that'll work. And there's actually a hole behind this white thing that, this little white follower that leads into the clock mechanism. So I tried lubricating just this little part that kind of goes forward and back. Let's see if we can get the angle right. Um, I moved this part back and lubricated that. I lubricated it under this little cam. Still was binding it halfway, so I squirted WD-40, as the forum said, into the clock mechanism. I didn't take it apart any farther, and it um, seemed to do the trick. So basically I squirted a bunch of WD-40 in there, a bunch of it came running out, so I'd been just kind of letting it drain. But I didn't see any of the videos out there from the world of uh, dual-lit owners and repairers about how to fix this. So here's a video, hopefully. Uh, it's a little bit helpful. Uh, Pretty basic fix, took maybe like 10 minutes so far. It was a little bit difficult to remove the spade connectors. Um, I just kind of wiggled and pulled hard enough until they finally came off. They were stubborn. <laughs>